I mean, this isn't the only big event that has happened in our history. It's just yeah. the one event that was actually nationally covered so big that everybody realized. But uh, people can look this up because I'm not smart enough to try to remember everything. But there was a bunch of incidents that happened in Arizona. Yeah, Phoenix back in the 90s. Yeah, the Phoenix. The triangles. Yeah. yeah, those were all filmed too, man. Yeah, they, they were filmed by multiple people, even the mayor at the time. He yep. uh, had to go on TV the next day to uh, discredit it because that's what he was told to do. And yep. then like 10 years or so many years later, after he resigned from his position, he'd done another interview and told the story about how he was forced to say that that was a weather balloon or whatever he said that it yeah, was. Yeah, flares or something. I watched the same thing, dude. Yeah. yeah and, and him and his son went after the lights to see like what it was. So the same guy that discredited it a few years later, done, a, same, done another interview saying like, actually, we don't know what that was. That was crazy. But also – Back in the 1950s or 40s, I think it was, there was like an alien invasion in Washington, D.C. that they were calling it. Where yeah, it was, and the, 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 the president met with them. Well, well, no, they, well this was like, there was like dozens of lights that popped above the White House. Yeah. And there was like, I mean, plenty of pictures at the time because there wasn't any video. Plenty of pictures at the time. And from, to my knowledge, they like, had fighter jets going after them and they would just disappear. And they like still to this day, they don't know what was going on there. There was just dozens of these lights showing up above the white house. Man, I told you about that story about the elderly man I took care of last time. So if you want to catch up on the last episode, I think you probably have it somewhere. Yeah. You can link it or something. But the story I told you about the guy that was, I took care of, he was in his eighties and he passed away a few years ago. But he told me back when he worked in the Air Force, they had the same kind of issue with, like, these bogeys that they had no idea what they were. And they were, you know, relying on vision and sight and flying and trying to chase these things that were way quicker than them. And they had no idea what they were. And they would appear on radar and then disappear. But see, like, yeah, it, lie. like it has no reason to lie. Do you think that it could also be just other powerful countries, though? I wouldn't say countries. I'd say maybe powerful people because, you know, there's shadow governments. Like there's probably like five or 10 of the really most richest people. And they're like, yeah, let's not share this with anybody. You know? True. I mean, well, look how much Elon and Jeff is doing whenever it comes to space. I mean, yeah. Elon Musk is more you, than NASA. You can throw money at it, you know, and the whole Elon thing, like he, he bought a company, you know, he bought it from two other people. I'm yeah. sure you saw that yeah. uh, anonymous video they posted about him a few months ago. But, but still, I mean, like this, you have one man and his company that is doing more than a government funded agency whenever it comes to space. It's because the government took away the funding though. Well, yeah, yeah. But I'm, but, like, but, like, but to your point though, it could be just somebody in the shadows that is able just to do whatever they want to do. Cause they got the Iron money. Man, dude, Iron Man. Yeah. What's his name? Robert Downey Jr. It's him. Who knows, man? Like it, that we are living in a day and age where, Iron Man and real life supervillains, like all that, it's possible. 